Greetings, Eric Baker, a naturopath. Thank you for coming back. We're going to talk about alternating constipation and diarrhea, something I, I've seen regularly in people. You can probably see that sun right in my face. I might just pull that blind down just one moment. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. As you can see, these videos aren't edited. I just make them and post them. I just haven't really got the time to spend all day you know, doing uh, jump cuts and all this weird kind of stuff. I just talk. All right, so sorry about that if it's not um, suitable for you, but that's just how these videos are. So let's talk about constipation and diarrhea. Many people, particularly people who are labeled as having uh, irritable bowel syndrome, will have intermittent constipation and diarrhea. Many people, for example, with inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or colitis will have intermittent constipation and diarrhea. Um, many people with blastocystis or candida also complain about you know, irregular, irregularity of bowel. Some days they go, some days they don't, some days it's really loose in the morning or they'll pass out some loose stool and then some firm stool or the other way around and there's no pattern, rhyme or rhythm to this. A couple of things that you want to do, if this is a regular recurring thing with you, you'll absolutely want a stool test. You want to do a comprehensive stool analysis. I've noticed since I've talked a lot about this on YouTube, more and more people are talking about stool testing. I started talking about stool testing in 2013 online, and I never saw anyone talk about stool testing, and now it's becoming much more apparent. Many practitioners are talking about it, and so they bloody well should. It's your life. It's your health. Okay? I know it's your money, but the thing is, the few hundred dollars you spend on a test if you can solve a problem like this, it's worth millions to you. Don't look at the cost, okay? Look at the advantage, all right? So testing is almost paramount when you've got an intermittent problem like this. What you'll often find, there'll be a lack of beneficial bacteria. So before you run off to the shop and buy, pro and buy probiotics, first work out what the problem is or where the areas of problems are that need some kind of solution. So it's best that you really see, seek out the help of a naturopath or a functional medicine doctor to help you get on top of the problem. Uh, I really believe this. If you can get your microbiome balanced and in better shape, these conditions often disappear in their own right and you're going to get more regularity. Remember, regular habit, regular lifestyle, regular emotional state, regular diet equals regular stool function. If something's wrong with those things I just spoke about, irregular diet, eating at weird hours, eating strange foods, having a pizza at three o'clock in the morning, watching some video, uh, you know, having a cup of coffee, uh, you know, 10 o'clock at night, or drinking things like coffee, tea, or alcohol, uh, and especially with crazy or, or extreme diets often lead to uh, irritation of the bowel, which are gonna give you this kind of irregularity. So you're either looking at a pathogen of some sort you know, some type of a parasite or yeast or issue like that. You could be looking at a, a small intestinal problem there with yeast or bacteria as well, but you'll almost certainly find there'll be some type of beneficial bacteria problem there. Um, I found this so often, it's incredible, that the person does not have enough bifidobacteria when they have the diarrhea particularly. So get tested, work out where the problems are, correct the problems, uh, and particularly the lifestyle problems, Understand that extreme diets or diet swings can bring this about pretty quickly. So then if you've only had this recently, maybe stop what you were doing and reverse what you were doing to see if the problem solves itself. If you can't get it solved, be sure to get on to a practitioner who can help you work through your problem. Because long term, you don't want to have constipation and diarrhea. It's going to create a lot of problems for you as you get older, particularly. And it's not nice to have a bowel that you can't rely on. It's not really good lifestyle. Can be fixed, it's up to you. Thanks for the question.